Agriculture and construction are two industries where the workers rely on a lot of heavy equipment. And in both industries, that equipment has been modernizing at a very, very rapid pace. Our roving tech reporter, Chad Colby, had the chance to look up close at some new construction equipment, and he sent in this report. You know me, I love equipment and I love technology. This past week, I was the guest of TCI Manufacturing in Nashville, Tennessee at the World of Asphalt Ag One's annual show. You may recognize that name. Every other year, I guess it's every three years, you may have heard of Con Expo in Las Vegas. This happens between those years. We'll be in Vegas next year. I can tell you this, a show like this puts a lot of great manufacturers in one location, but it also gives them a chance to showcase a lot of amazing technology. And whether that's simulators, new GPS systems, new automation for equipment, let me tell you, for a guy like myself, who spent essentially a career in the ag industry, to come over and see that technology in construction, it's really a treat for me. I did have an opportunity to talk to Patrick Reaver, who's the president of TCI Manufacturing in Walnut, Illinois. I wanted a little more insight on what he's seeing at the manufacturer level. TCI Manufacturing, we're based in Walnut, Illinois, uh, about two hours west of Chicago, so rural, uh, a lot of farm kids, a lot of uh, you know local people that work there. So it's been a it's been a company that's been in business for 20 years, but has history going back over 50 years. There's so much technology in the processing of aggregate. When you talk to veterans like Patrick, you realize really quickly that that passion leads right into the technology. I love processing aggregate. So it's a matter of how can we process aggregate in a more efficient way, allowing for the operator to be less involved in the dangerous environment. With all the supply chain challenges, I was curious about how that affected manufacturing. You know, right now we're trying to expand our production capabilities and really look at how can we provide more equipment to, to our end users. So, you know, it's a tough job market out there. Uh, we're always hiring, we love getting new faces, but at the same point, you know, we're trying to automate our facilities and make it uh, a manufacturing capabilities increase. Lead times are long, um, but we do our best to try to work with our customers. What makes America better than any other country in the world is our infrastructure. We have the best infrastructure system. If I want to get a product, maybe it's grain, maybe it's steel, maybe it's rock, and I want to get that from the East Coast to the West Coast, there's no other country like it, but you know what? That stuff needs some help, needs some TLC, right? And let me guess, you got some equipment to do that. Right? We got all the equipment they need. That's right. Yes, we do. Thank you, Chad. It's always incredible to see these big pieces of machinery up close. Folks, stay with us later on in the program. We're going to join the United Soybean Board.